Hey y'all, so today must be your lucky day because I'm not doing one, not two, but three of my favorite fall cocktails and all of them are made with that good old Hennessy. We've got Henny and Hot Cocoa, we've got my Grown Folks Coke Float, and finally we've got my Morning After Coffee. Let's get started with this Henny and Hot Cocoa recipe. Here's what you're going to need. One and a half ounces of Hennessy, two packets of hot cocoa mix, six ounces of hot water, one ounce of caramel flavored coffee creamer, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and whipped cream. Okay, this is so easy to put together. Literally, we're just gonna put all the ingredients right into the shaker, give it a good shake, and right into the coffee mug. So first, I'm gonna start with my two packets of hot cocoa and my hot water. That's gonna go right into the shaker. Then my two packets of hot chocolate mix. I chose dark chocolate because I just can't get enough of chocolatey things, but you can use milk chocolate as well. Got chocolate everywhere. Alrighty. Favorite part, the Hennessy goes in. A little dash of that vanilla extract. Some of that coffee creamer next. Yum. Alrighty, we're gonna give this a good shake. All right, now that we've got all our ingredients inside the shaker, we're just gonna shake it up. Shake, 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 shake. You want all that powder to mix up good. Woo, we're leaking. Goodness gracious, just more chocolate for me to <laughs> slurp up from everywhere. All right, and then right into the coffee cup. Okay, I've got this mess cleaned up as best as possible. Clearly this outfit is a wrap before I go out with my girls tonight, but we're gonna keep moving along. I'm gonna top this off and show you how you finish it. So first we're gonna do the whipped cream. Put a bunch of that on there. Just can't ever have too much whipped cream. And then just a sprinkle of cinnamon on top. And there you have it. Let's dive into this and see how delicious it's gonna be. This whipped cream, I'm gonna have a whipped cream mustache. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That'll put some hair on your chest. Okay, now up for the second drink. We're about to do my Grown Folks Coke Float. So here's what you're gonna need. It's two scoops of vanilla ice cream, about four ounces of Coke, an ounce and a half of Hennessy, and we're gonna to top it all off with some whipped cream. All right, so we're gonna get started putting this drink together. First into the glass, we're gonna put the ounce and a half of Hennessy. I like to start with that because then everything has a chance to really mix into it and it's most important, I don't wanna forget that. Then second, we're gonna put our couple scoops of vanilla ice cream. It's already nice and soft so we can get some good scoops in there. This scooper is a little small so I'm gonna do an extra scoop. Nobody's ever been mad about more ice cream, right? <laughs> and then we're gonna to top it all off with the Coke. Slowly so it doesn't explode on us. Yum. Alrighty, and now for the good stuff. The whipped cream goes on top, and we can taste just this baby. So cute. And one more special little treat. Cookies. Okay, now for our favorite part, of course, we're gonna taste this. Okay, it's like nostalgia in a glass, but the 21 and up version. It's so good. That ice cream, the Coke, of course the Hennessy, tastes delicious. Okay, so we're gonna get started with this last drink. The ingredients are very simple. All you're gonna need is one and a half ounces of condensed milk, one and a half ounces of hot water, three ounces of espresso, a fourth an ounce of Grand Marnier, and one and a half ounces of Hennessy, and then we're gonna to top it all off with some whipped cream. So let's get started. All right, so to put this drink together, first we're gonna start with the most important ingredients, the Hennessy and the Grand Marnier. So that goes right into the cup. Here's our Grand Marnier. Then we're gonna add the coffee in next. This cute little cup. 
All right, I gotta be dainty with this. Here we go. Pinky's out, pinky's out. Bam. Then we're gonna add in our hot water. Lastly, the condensed milk. This is for the sweetness and to give it a little creaminess as well. You can just eyeball it. It's really to taste. If you like it sweeter, go for it. Now we're just gonna stir this up and then whipped cream. Perfect. You can already see it's starting to combine. That creaminess is coming through. Whipped cream time. Okay, the whipped cream topping is on. So now it's our favorite part, the tasting. Okay, y'all, that's good coffee. Like, for real, this is delicious. All right, so I hope you guys have really enjoyed what you've seen here today. And if you like this recipe and wanna see more, make sure to check out my blog, INeedSomeMo.com. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and make sure to like my Facebook page too. I'll see y'all next time. Bye. All right, guys, so this week, my friends at The Perfect Company are helping me give away this Perfect Kitchen Pro with App System. It's so dope, it helps you take all the guesswork out of baking, making cocktails, and even making smoothies. Absolutely no measuring is required. So if you'd like more info, check out the link in the description below. If you wanna win this thing, make sure to follow me on Instagram and like my latest post, and then post a picture of yourself enjoying one of my recipes and tag it with I Need Some Mo Food. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.